Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Now, my man convicted for running a drug trafficking ring and selling at least 100 grams of fentanyl and other opioids, sentenced to 23 years in federal prison. It's 31-year-old Robert Ian Thatcher. Police say he and co-conspirator Maximilian Sams ran a large-scale drug manufacturing and trafficking organization in the Twin Tiers between 2015 and 2017. Officials say at least two people died after taking pills that they manufactured. The village of Watkins Glen is now under a boil order. This after a water main break at North Glen Avenue. That boil order could last for up to five days. In addition, officials say all residents west of State Route 14 will experience some low pressure while those repairs are being made. Officials are also asking the town of Dix to conserve water at this time. Applications are now open for grants made available by the Fund for Women of the Southern Tier. The goal of the fund is for women to help girls and women in the Southern Tier to achieve economic self-sufficiency and realize their life goals. The grants are given to nonprofits and to individuals. Individuals who get the grants will receive $500 to be used to remove any barrier to the pursuit of their educational endeavors. This would include things like textbooks, past due tuition bills, or licensing exams. Applications are due by March 1st. Applicants must be from either Shimon, Schuyler, Steuben, or Yates counties. The Clemens Center is hosting a unique act tomorrow night. The Andrew Collins Trio is a folk music group out of Canada, which was nominated for the Canadian Folk Music Awards Instrumental Group of the Year. But what really makes this concert out of the ordinary is that they invite the audience to bring their own instruments to play along. Tickets are $30, but the post-show jam session has no additional charge. That concert starts at 7.30. We saw a big drop in temperatures. Meteorologist Kim Walker lets us know what's next in the weather on her Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back, everyone. Temperatures were on the rise early in the morning hours. We did reach temperatures in the upper 50s, and then that cold front came in, and we've been seeing those temperatures tumble this afternoon. In the early afternoon, it dropped down into the 20s. Tomorrow, we're going to see plenty of sunshine, continuing with the gusty conditions, and it will be cold this weekend. We do have snow chances returning for early next week with another storm system coming through, but temperatures will gradually warm up through next week. Here's a look at what you can expect as we head into tomorrow. Temperatures will be basically in the 30s by the afternoon, but with that wind, it's going to feel like the single digits as we start off the day, and then throughout the afternoon, our wind chills will be in the 20s. That's what it's going to feel like to our skin with that wind, so it's going to be quite cold out there. Tonight, we drop down into the 13 degrees in Elmira and also in Corning, Bath the same, 14 degrees in Watkins Glen. The winds will be quite stiff, about 15 to 20 miles per hour from the west northwest, and so our wind chills will be as low as 5 degrees below zero. So it's going to be quite cold tonight, and it's going to be cold tomorrow with highs only around 27 degrees in Elmira, 26 in Corning, Mansfield around 27 degrees. It will be gusty once again, and then your seven day forecast calls for temperatures that will warm up a little bit, but it's going to be barely above freezing for your Sunday with highs around 33 degrees after starting off around 12 degrees. We're going to be right at freezing on Monday. Then another storm system comes our way Monday night into Tuesday, so we could see some snow Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures will hover just a little bit above uh, freezing. Overnight lows will drop down into uh, the 20s, and then we're going to see a warm-up as we head toward the end of the week. For Valentine's Day, it will be cloudy, just dreary 
out there, and we do have the possibility of a few flurries. As we end the week, though, on Friday, it's going to be a little bit warmer with highs around 50 degrees. Scott? All right, thank you, Kim. Need a new love for Valentine's? Well, how about a cute, cuddly dog or cat? Anders is our pet of the week. This beautiful big boy is Anders. Poor Anders has still not found a home. He's a three-year-old Rottweiler mix. Anders was left at dog control. The poor boy was going to be euthanized before he was taken in by Tanner's paws. He's a big dog, so he might not work best with little kids, and he doesn't work well with cats. Anders does like other dogs, they just need to have an introduction before to see if they'll get along. He is such a beautiful boy, and he's really, really good, really, really sweet. If you want to meet Anders, you can come down here to Tanner's Paws. Tanner's Paws is open tomorrow from 10 to 2. It's located at 117 West Market Street in Corning. Well, thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great weekend.